so now I would like to to perform or to to provide a little bit more detailed insight in um, the new possibilities we have in eCognition 8 to build application by actually showing two different applications um, that we have built using eCognition 8. The first one which I will show is an application that all of you will uh, immediately notice when you do the switch to eCognition 8. It's called um, the new startup mo mode called Quick Map. And it provides you the ability to start up eCognition Developer in two different modes. Instead of going to the rule set mode, you can also choose to start up the Quick Map mode, which provides a simple environment for um, basic analysis tasks like sample based analysis um, in a very simple user environment. So it's sort of the, um, the easy m developer mode for, let's say, the casual eCognition user who's um, working on sample-based projects. We provided a little clip here, which actually shows how that startup mode is used. So first of all, you start up developer, and then you will see your startup screen, and you just pick eCognition um, in the Quick Map startup mode and bring up eCognition developer in Quick Map. Once that's done, you can just load your data sets as you have done before in developer, um, simply add data to your to your project. And then you will see that on the top left side, you now have a, a very different looking environment. And this is the analysis builder environment, which allows you to, on the top area, stack different actions, which define what different steps in image analysis is done. And then for each action, you have a couple of parameters we can, we, which you can define in a very easy interface. So you have sliders and simple input buttons, and you can use these to, to very efficiently calibrate and, and define your application. So in this example, we will bring up some QuickBird data sets and perform a sample-based analysis. First of all, differentiating between water and non-water. So to do that, the first thing is to actually segment the data. And you can also see that you have uh, a very simple interface in which you can define the scale parameter and also the color and shape criteria just using uh, simple sliders. Once you've done your segmentation, you can then take the next step to actually perform a classification. Um, to do that also, the, the whole entering of new classes, defining of the class um, has become much easier. There's no need to, to add any class description or something similar. Simply add a name to the class, add the class color, and then you have two different classes, and each classification step allows you to break down the image into two different classes, essentially. So in this example, we added a water and a non-water class, and now the sample selection functionality allows you to pick samples for each class. The sample selection also now comes with a bit of a different input mode, which is called the sample brush. It allows you to very quickly select multiple samples, so especially for classes like the land class in this example, which are very heterogeneous, the sample input mode is uh, much faster than before and much easier also. As you can see, the segmentation or the classification can then be actually performed on the click of a button and you have very efficient workflow. Now, you would say, well, two classes are not enough, actually. I want to add more classes to my analysis. So therefore, you can add just a second step in your analysis and add a second set of classification. Um, in this case, for example, breaking down the non-forest, uh, the, the non-water area in forest and non-forest. And the whole workflow is the same. Again, you add um, the forest class, you add the non-forest class, and you select samples within the non-water area to break this area down into the two different classes. And on the top left side, you can see that all the different steps which you do in your analysis are sort of neatly stacked one above the other. So the, the workflow is also very easily guided and a, a let's say a non-expert user who needs to run that application, he will be provided with a clear guidance as which step to take first, which step to take second, and so on. So it's a very easy to use environment. Again, the classification runs, and you will now have forest and non-forest split out in this area. There are a couple of additional functionalities, 
So there are actually three segmentation and three classification steps. So if you want to merge areas, for example, you can simply add another segmentation step which will merge areas of a defined class. And that way you can, for example, merge the water area and merge the forest area. And that again is done very easily, just clicking on the mouse, defining which class to merge, and that will um, aggregate those areas. And you've seen by now on the top left side, we've had really a, a little stack of different actions, um, one following the other. So you can save that action library, as we call it, as a solution. And that will allow you then to either automatically apply and, perform and use that solution to automatically analyze larger amounts of data, but it will also allow you to provide that solution to another user who will then have a very clear defined guideline or workflow um, for use in his project. I'd also want, would like to mention that all the, the rule sets and the underlying sort of functionality of quick map mode will be made freely available through our user community so that also you, our users, are encouraged to take that functionality, to customize it, to extend it, um, to build your own applications, use it as a guideline to build your own applications, um, and essentially use it as you see fit.